Today I am back at DC Pianos with another rather interesting piano. You might look at this and go, it's an old piano, what's so neat about it? Well, there's a couple things neat about it. First of all, when you lift up the fallboard, you'll see that it's actually a very pretty piano. I, I really like the look of this piano. As you can see, there's no uh, name here on the front of the fallboard that might be because this part of the fallboard was refinished. It definitely looks a lot, uh, a lot better than, honestly, the rest of the piano does. The rest of the piano appears to be unrefinished. Uh, normally, there would be a logo under here, um, but it has ivory keys, and as you can tell, it's very old. I really like this design here of the, the carvings here, and there's behind here is fabric, so these are really like vent holes that allow the sound to escape from the piano and help make it a lot louder and sound much less boxy than it otherwise might sound. So if we lift up the, uh, the lid here, we'll see the inside of the piano, and as you can see immediately, something is funny about this piano because there is no uh, frame here around the tuning pins. On a modern piano, you would have a frame on the tuning pins. But on this piano, since it's very, very old, I don't know the year of it, but I'd have to guess probably late 1800s, maybe early 1900s. There's, there's a date here, very faintly written. It says 18, maybe 06, probably 86, 1886. That's my guess. Hopefully you can see that. It's right there. It doesn't look like it's showing up on the camera, but it says 1886, roughly, written right there on the, uh, right around, ah, it's not focusing well. Ah. You almost saw it. There it is. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, I think now you can see it. See? Let's see. Uh, where is it? 18 and then 86. I believe that's what it says. I'll put a picture of it, a close-up picture of it on screen right now. So now you can see it, and that's what it says there. So maybe that's the year of this piano, 1886. So it's definitely old, and as you can see by the tuning pins, they have quite a bit of, uh, I guess it's rust or something on them. It's a very, very old piano. And so the inside of it is rather interesting. Another thing that's kind of neat about this piano is as you can see up here in the treble, there are three strings for every note. But however, when you come right down here, there's only two strings per note, and that continues basically for the rest of the piano. Normally on a piano, on a modern piano, you'd have three strings for every note, starting right about way down here. And on some pianos, there's even three notes per note, uh, three, three strings per note, starting right down here. So this piano must be, I think 1886 probably is a probably is the time this piano was from, and I've never really seen that before where a full-sized, or basically full-sized piano, only has two strings per note stretching up that far. So it's a rather interesting feature of this piano. As you can see, everything in the uh, piano is original except the dampers. They look like they've been replaced, but the hammers are original, and obviously the tuning pins are original as well. Uh, this kind of it's kind of funny here, there's a date on the inside of the piano. I guess when it was tuned, it says 210-1954. So it was, uh, at one point it was tuned, that's when it was tuned. And as you can see here, there's a nice logo. I guess it's burned into the wood here. That says J&C Fisher, established 1840. Grand, square, and upright piano fortes. Pa patent action, composite, metallic frames. So this piano does have a harp, it just doesn't extend up this far on the piano, which is something that they did back in the day. At least I believe it has a harp. It looks like it, yeah. You can see the metal for it. There's metal for it right down here. So there is a frame, um, but it just doesn't extend up this far. We actually used to have a Fisher from the, uh, I think it was like 1890-something. It was an absolutely beautiful piano. It played really well, and uh, it was a really wonderful piano. So now let's, let's hear what this piano sounds like. And the funny thing about this piano is it's actually tuned down one half step, and it sounds really pretty. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why this piano is tuned down exactly one half step, but I can only imagine that since there is no metal frame up here, or simply because this piano is so old, it can't hold a tune up at standard pitch, so uh, they've tuned it down one, whole, uh, one half step, so that when you play it, it still sounds nice, but, and it stays in tune, but it's simply one half step lower. So I'm going to play my little uh, melody that I wrote for testing out pianos, which sounds absolutely amazing in the key of E, in my opinion.
most likely here, the bass in this piano honestly is not amazing, but how can you hold that against the piano because it's from 1886 and it's got the original strings? For having the original strings, I think the bass sounds pretty good to be honest with you. The very low notes kind of remind me of like an upright bass sound and it's kind of funny. And the, the strings here are actually wound in steel, as you can see. Uh, the string right here is wound in copper, but starting here, the strings are actually wound in steel, which is a rather interesting thing that was done back in the day. There's also a missing damper here on this note. I somehow didn't notice that, so that's kind of funny. Uh, I guess I didn't play that note. Yeah, it was. An, or I, I probably had the pedal down. That's why I didn't notice it was. Uh, it had no damper. But that's kind of fun. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video of this very old antique uh, J and C Fisher piano. I've got lots of videos on my channel about pianos, both new and old. I've got some from this time period and some from that were made basically just yesterday. So you can go check out those videos, and if you like them, you might want to think about subscribing. And if you do, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.